So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is giving you a total 101 tutorial of how to use Quip. Um, and Quip is essentially, it's like Google Documents um, as well as well as like blended with Dropbox paper. Um, and for those who don't know what that is, it's, it's basically a team collaboration tool for you to create documents um, and and they call it a living document. So something that um, actually allows you to edit things in real time um, and communicate with others around those specific living documents. Um, and I mean, I'm gonna show you some of the features today. It seems to be a really popular application. It's growing very, very fast. Um, the team, so a little bit of the backstory, um, I hope you kind of want to hear this. If not, you feel free to skip forward. Um, two of the Facebook, so two Facebook um, company employees, they left in 2013, I believe, and they went away and created Quip. Um, and I mean, this is a tool that's being used by, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I think CNN are using it, and a couple of more really strong companies like Product Hunt um instacart and things like that so it's being used by a lot of different teams um and its popularity has increased so they launched mid 2013 and uh in the last year they've really hit some real numbers um starting to really push through and getting some huge funding rounds as well so what i'm going to do now is go over the product and then we're going to touch on some of the pricing to kind of overview and round up so let's get stuck in. Um, so here is Quip, um, and this is my sample account here. Um, as you can see, very simplistic layout on the web. Uh, as you can see on the far left, they've got a dashboard. So inbox is basically where all of your main feed uh, streams gonna come from. Uh, start is anything that you've pressed uh, with the star button along here. Private is essentially where you can have all of your private folders. So as you can see here, I've created a folder one and examples here. So examples is the preset they give you. Um, and then you can also view all documents. So you can just kind of get everything all in the open in case you work in Teams. You can also set up any of the chat features um, and you can either individually one-on-one -on -one chat people, you can chat with a group of people, or you can chat around a specific document, which I will show you. Um, the documents are fairly easy to create. So once you've created a folder, and uh, you can do that by going to your uh, private uh, documents or the team documents. Once you've created a document, uh, you can click into it. Um, and once you're there, uh, it comes up very simplistic, uh, very similar to kind of like medium. Uh, you can set the title, uh, obviously, uh, like most of the documents. So hello. Uh, and the font's really nice as well. That's one thing I'm really impressed by. You can add images, you can add spreadsheets, checklists, and also a multitude of other features like uh, mentioning people specifically, um, linking and code blocking as well, and horizontal rules. So this is something that, you know, as, as they mentioned, um, as they mentioned, just put that down, uh, you can actually, you know, communicate with other people here. So pressing this add comment button simply allows you to add a comment, whether it's something generic, um, or whether it's something that you want to tag a team member on. So let's say Jason Frasca, uh, demo, that brings it in, and Jason will actually get notified by that. From here, I can actually direct message Jason, um, or I can keep adding comments, uh, and this is a great way for Jason to see all of that information. So let's see what an image looks like in line. So I'm just going to add an image here. Um, you can actually upload an image uh, or capture an image directly from their system. Um, and that can be a screenshot or anything like that. So I'm just going to find an image to use. Uh, I might use one of the latest thumbnails for the YouTube. Er, it keeps escaping through. Chromebooks are very slow sometimes. Um, that's one thing I've learned. And if you click onto one of these um it natively uploads them, which is great. Uh, one thing I will mention in a bit is its ability to connect with other services as well. So when you're starting out, so here you go. So once I've uploaded that, I can start tweaking where I want it to go. And you're probably wondering, oh, I want it to move around. You can make it float right. Um, you can make it float left. 
it's actually really flexible and really uh, well designed um, ergonomically. You can add comments directly to that. So that's something you can be specific on. You can actually open it up as a bigger box too. So as you can imagine, you can actually you know, insert all of these details. It's very fluid. Teams can kind of uh, really connect well on this. You can at mention and have the ability to attach that person, as I mentioned. And it might be an easier way than having to click in each time to access all of the details. One thing to note there is you can actually attach files to files. So you can actually link out to another document inside of your, uh, your Quip account. So that's really, really simple and easy to get started with. So let's go out of these folders. Uh, obviously, as you can imagine, um, it's really valuable to have access to the folders because uh, you can see all of the details. From here, you can actually change the sharing, copy them or move them. Uh, once creating uh, a folder, they sit pretty well and you can edit and change and as well share the folder. To create folders and uh, details, you can go up here and create a folder, choose a color that you like, and also name it too. Uh, you can even, so if I create the folder hello in red, um, and you click next, it gives you the ability to change the collaborators or actually create a specific private folder. Up in the top right hand corner, you have the ability to create a document, a spreadsheet, uh, or a folder, as I mentioned here, or you can also upload anything from any other parties. So Quip actually allows you to get started with Google Drive, Evernote, Box, and Dropbox, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna show you a quick example of what um, like a really well-constructed document is. Um, that's not a well-constructed, that's just a checklist. Uh, okay, dinner party menu, I think is one of the examples they give you. So here we are, here's a great example. They've linked out here, they've had some lovely imagery. Um, they've actually, gone into detail with the bullet points and also the image uh, direction as well. You can also have this stream here. So once you tap that, you can have a mini tab on where you can communicate with all your team. Really valuable, really easy to set up. So as I mentioned, you can create a new chat room. Um, that's very specific. Uh, apparently, uh, Product Hunt was saying on their demo video that they have reduced the amount of usage of other applications and they're communicating a lot through Quip, which is interesting because Quip could really rally against Slack and other tools like that in the near future. Just some other minor things, there's a notification uh, tab where you can see all of your notifications. You can see, also see company updates. You can go to your profile as well from the far left-hand corner. You can add any contacts directly, and the one-on-one -on -one feature uh, is quite useful I'm not sure many people would use it. Up in the top right hand corner, you can actually filter out unread, private, direct message created by uh, me, uh, which is valuable. So these are all useful things when things get over kind of overwhelmed. Um, anyway, guys, I'm just gonna show you the pricing now to kind of overview things. The pricing is very simple. So they created a basic account where it's zero free, uh, per user per month with unlimited personal documents and folders, uh, a nice team domain, 30 days revision history, and 1,000 message archives with limited sharing. So the basic features are not bad to get you started with. Um, but teams between 1 and 10, $10 per month, uh, which is interesting because you get all of, the majority of all of the features unlimited, which is really handy. Uh, and then it's $40 uh, for anything above 11 to 20 if you're going for a business, this seems to be one of the best options. You know, that might be a little bit more um, as you kind of build up, but $12 per user per month. Um, and that gives you everything as well as unlimited guests, which could be important because obviously when you're collaborating, it's important to kind of show things and preview things and, and build that up as well as give, giving that kind of um, admin portal as well, which is quite valuable for teams. And there's also an enterprise option, which is $25 per user per month. Um, and then you pretty much get everything. You get a whole quick API access um, and also single sign-on, a, a single sign-on and Google Apps uh, integration, which is quite powerful too. So anyway, guys, that's just a quick overview of the core features of Quip. And as you can imagine, um, if I had a few people more added, it would look very similar to this. So 
very like teeming with life and actually the ability to um, see what other people are doing at any given time as well as comment and kind of give feedback and uh, really go deep on all of your functionality. One thing I'm really impressed by by this application is its design. When F Quit first came out and I remember seeing it, I was kind of like a bit te tedious. I was a bit kind of scared about um, touching it because it, it looked very kind of, I don't know, raw and not a kind of strong productivity app. But they've really worked on the brand. They've kind of made this font really strong. The, the simplicity overweighs the functionality, which is great. So anyway, guys, that's just a overview of Quip. If you want to download it, it'll be in the description in the comments. If you are already installed it, please let me know on Twitter how you're using it at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S. I'd really love to know. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, this isn't just a one-off video. I do a lot of videos about productivity apps and tools, something that you might have discovered already, but some of that you might uh, rediscover or find brand new. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.